Cockroach, and my project is Stopping Bullying Through Self-Efficacy and Early Intervention. Bullying is an issue that's been present in the educational system for many years. While there are many different ways to combat it, promoting peer connectedness and self-efficacy have both shown positive results. The objective of my project was to give students the tools, information, and knowledge to stop bullying personally, as well as create a sense of community and understanding of differences within the classroom. The research that was collected showed that class meetings were, were key to promoting a supportive classroom. Class meetings involve communication between teacher and student to discuss daily issues or problems with the goal of eliminating bullying behaviors. Through student interviews and class meetings, I was able to get a sense of the attitudes towards bullying and ultimately create a more emotionally safe classroom. Finding a, bull finding a solution to bullying is a very important goal of mine because someone very close to me was bullied in his middle school years. For privacy reasons, I will refer to him as Sam. While I was young at the time, I still remember hearing stories about what was going on and I remember feeling completely helpless. I knew I wanted to do my capstone project on bullying because I wanted to find a way for children to go through their school years without having to be ridiculed or harassed. To begin my research, I decided to interview Sam uh, to get a sense of exactly how bullying affected his life and if he had any uh, advice on how to combat it. He recalls when he would report the bullies to a teacher, they didn't always have the time or energy uh, to deal with it. To this, to this day, Sam wishes he had been taught the tools to combat bullying on his own. This, uh, this information was the motivation I needed to begin implementing class meetings in a school setting. With the, help of my, with the help of my community partner, Sylvia Kovarubias, I began working in the After School Academy, or ASA, at Delray Woods Elementary in Seaside, California. Sylvia assisted me in identifying the students who have been bullied or show bullying behavior. I took the eight students she selected and interviewed them on their knowledge and understanding of bullying. Each of them highlighted bullying as physical abuse, like hitting or kicking, um, but none of them really included bullying as verbal abuse. Um, out of the eight children I interviewed, seven of them mentioned that they did not feel comfortable stopping a bully if they see it occur on the playground or in the classroom. Each of them also mentioned that, that they would rather tell an, an authority figure about a bullying incident instead of trying to intervene themselves. I used this, this interview data to create outlines that would guide the majority of my discussions. The students and I met every Wednesday for 30 minutes during ASA. During this time, I pulled the original eight students I had previous, previously interviewed as well as a few other control students to help guide the conversation. We sat in a circle to help the discussion feel more conversational and much less in, and more informal. The first meeting was focused on providing them with information on what exactly class meetings were, what they're used for, and how they can be beneficial. Secondly, we discussed how giving compliments can boost self-esteem and create a positive learning environment. To keep the class meetings running smoothly and relevant, we talked about using an agenda to manage our thoughts and feelings, and uh, we used that agenda each week, and they would uh, bring up the things that happened during their day. Um, but most of the first meeting was very informational and much less feedback driven because the students needed to know just exactly how the class meetings were going to be ran. Yes, I know. <laughs> She's getting over being sick too, yeah. so everyone knows. <laughs> so <sick. laughs> the second meeting was create, was centered on events or problems that they had that they wanted to talk about. Many of the conflicts that they have are based on family issues or arguments on the playground. I guided them to discuss these issues with each other in order to come up with solutions on how they could be handled in the future. They were able to collaborate and brainstorm with each other and ultimately create a stronger bond. For example, one of the students commented, sometimes things happen that we don't like, but we feel better if we tell our friends about it. After we discussed bullying and how it hurts others, they gave, they gave examples on what bullying looks like and how it can be harmful for individuals in the future. One of the students even said, bullying can get you arrested later on in life. And if you're mean when you're in school, you're gonna be mean as a grown up. 
This is, a this is a great example of students understanding that bullying behavior can lead to violent or hostile behavior as an adult. For the second portion of this meeting, we discussed how they themselves can in <laughs> <laughs> can intervene when they see bullying occur. We acted on a bullying scenario in order to see the different stakeholders involved. During one scenario, one of the students was showing how to properly engage a bully when they said to the bully, she didn't do anything wrong to you, so why are you being mean to her? This is a great example of students interacting with the bully in an independent yet non-violent way. The student also mentioned that if the bully continues to show degrading behavior, it's the bystander's responsibility to reassure the victim that the, what the bullying is saying is not a true reflection of the individual's character. The last class meeting was geared toward understanding one another's feelings and taking responsibility for one's actions. Our group, our group discussed how feelings can differ from our own and we need to take that into consideration when interacting with others. The second part of our meeting focused on taking respons responsibility for our actions and accepting the consequences we deserve. Lastly, we went over everything that we had talked about in our class meetings and how this information can help them in the future. I also conducted a closing interview with the original eight students to see if they had learned anything in the class meetings. Initially, when, they, when I asked them if they felt comfortable intervening in a bullying situation, all of them said that they didn't feel comfortable. However, at the, at the end of our last class meeting, I, was, I asked them the same question, and they all stated that they felt comfortable and had the appropriate tools and knowledge to stop a bully on their own. This information does not necessarily prove that bullying was eliminated, but it does show that the preference of bullying can be diminished if teachers um, adequately educate their students. One of my favorite moments throughout the time that I spent at Delray Woods came during my last class meeting when one of my kindergartners said, I wish there was no bullying in school, or the world too. <laughs> because I was unable to see the long-term effects of the class meetings, I decided to interview a teacher that currently implements class meetings within her curriculum. Her class meetings are designed to ensure that her students are emotionally ready to learn. The biggest success, fa success factor that she noticed when using class meetings is that it forms a sort of class culture. Students understand that their feelings, as well as their peers, matter. Class meetings give them the opportunity to get to know their classmates and appreciate their successes as their own. We as educators do have the most authority when it comes on how to handle bullying, but until we give students the tools on how to stop bullying themselves, they'll never have the initiative and self-efficacy to independently do something about it. However, through class meetings, students can learn the con concepts of respect, boosting others' confidence, and sharing a sense of community amongst their peers. Class meetings can not only prevent bullying, but they can have a positive impact on the students' problem-solving skills, listening skills, language development, and extended thinking. If class meetings are held in classrooms all over the nation, students will be able to take the unity formulated in the classroom into the communities and live in a, in a bully-free world.